Hey everybody, I have set up to do my scarf joints now. As you can, hopefully you can see down here, I've got um, all my redwood uh, for that I'm going to use for the stringers on the boot. And so, of course, these are 10 foot long pieces that I had cut down. I actually found a, a lumber yard here close by that will cut those, will rip those for me really nicely on their table saw so I don't have to do it myself grateful for that because uh, that's it's not really fun with the equipment that I have so I'm gonna I've got my uh, jig set up here which is basically a board that I cut for uh, the good angle and then I've done one test one and I'm gonna do the rest of them and hopefully as long as I don't mess up I'll have a bunch of nice, uh, nice uh, scarf cuts that I can put together Okay, so uh, in preparation for putting our scarf joints together, I, uh, I'm very familiar with using epoxy to hold things together. Uh, I used to use uh, Moss and West, Sy West Systems uh, epoxy for my other kayaks. I know that works really well, but it's a bit expensive and harder for me to get. So I'm doing a test with uh, Tight Bond 3 uh, waterproof wood glue. And what I did was I have this this here wood um, that I had glued together um, it was dry I dried it for like uh, 12 uh, 12 to 18 hours you know I did it one day and came back the next um, and then I stuck it in this this lovely bucket and held it under water for I think it's been two days now it's been just soaking underwater um, which would be I guess pretty much the most extreme condition that it would be in. Um, of course, it hasn't separated by itself, but I'm going to try and force it to come apart. So, before I use it on all my scarf joints. I got a little, I don't know if that's a crack there, if that was in the forest here. <laughs> so that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty good joint. Okay. Um, I don't... <laughs> I don't think look at it, it ripped the ripped the wood out. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit anything uh, as hard as that with my kayak. If I do, I'm in uh, really big trouble, and I'm pretty sure that uh, this piece of wood will just snap before um, that joint comes apart. So that's after two days of soaking in the water. Um, I can see here it's actually dry here. Uh, it's wet around the edge. Um, but it's actually dry in the middle here so I'm pretty happy with that so that is what we're going to use instead of buying expensive epoxy and messing with that stuff I like this better you just wipe it up with water you know while it's still uh, you know still new and it'll be cleaned up okay that's what we're going to do <laughs> 